Hello everybody, this is Ethan. Come here today talking about uh, ButterFS, BTRFS on um, Gen 2 specifically, the distro of choice for me. So here's a VM of it, you can see this is Gent VM. This is a fresh install, so if I do lsblk-f, you can see that SDA2, which is the uh, root partition, is formatted with the BTRFS. So you need to have BTRFS set up and then you need to make a snapshot of your root partition so you see if you ls root right now i have uh, my kernel saved here i can just remove that just for the sake of simplicity right so here's my ls this is my root partition i believe the command is btrfs sub ball snapshot slash slash gentoo and now you can see that there's a snapshot here called Gen2. If you ls, there it is. That's my snapshot, right? So this this snapshot right here is the exact same as my current root partition. It's just been like you know snapshot. It's so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna navigate to our kernel, which is located in user source Linux. If you have um, a custom kernel like you normally do on Gen2. And we're going to make menu config because there's a couple things we want to do here real quick. So we're going to go down to processor type and features and move all the way to the bottom. And if you're using EFI stub, EFI boot manager like I am, normally you'd set your root in the command line at the very bottom. You want to enable built in kernel command line and then set the root and all that. But we're actually going to set another thing, which is root flags equal sub vol equals slash gen2. So now we're going to recompile the kernel. But since I'm not using grub, I'm using EFI boot manager, I'm just going to send make install send a uh, VM liners 5.4.48 gen2 to my slash boot directory. And then from there, I can send it over to my EFI. This is what the EFI reads to boot my kernel. So I send it there, but we can't reboot yet. So now we're gonna we're gonna use our editor, so in this case nano, and we're gonna locate our FS tab. So here we are. And now there's a there's something we gotta do here to make sure that we can actually boot. So you see I have compress. If you don't already have it by the way, you're gonna want these flags for your root partition and uh, zero zero. You'd be booted into read only if you didn't have zero zero set here. So we're gonna add to the end of this sub vol equals slash gentoo, which is just pointing this is just like another flag being set to our root partition. Say yes. And then now we're going to reboot. Alright, so we're rebooted. So let's see if it worked. If I go to slash and I ls, you can see that that Gen2 folder is gone now. Well, I'll show you where we went. So if we go ahead and we mount SDA2, which in my case is the root partition. Well, actually, let's make a directory first. Let's make a directory at slash mount and call it root. And then we'll mount our root drive to mnt root. Now if we cd there, you can see our Gen2 folder is there. So what we're actually going to do is now that we have We've, by the way, just to be clear, we've booted into Gentoo, into that little folder snapshot. So now that we have this, we can actually rm-r all of the directories. So if we cd back to slash, we have our folder now. So let's make a quick script. Make a directory and call it what you want. I like to call it scripts. cd into scripts. And then we're going to make a document here we're gonna touch snapshot now we're gonna name this whatever you want the uh, snapshotting function to be called I like to just be able to call snapshot from anywhere on my system and automatically make one so I'm gonna call it snapshot and now we're gonna edit it now normally I do this in vim but I don't have it yet so we're gonna put in our shebang which is for bash you could probably write this in um, you could probably write this in like sh or zsh or however you want to do it but i'm just going to do it in bash so the we're going to mount sda2 or whatever your root partition is to mnt root which is the folder that we made and then we're going to do btrfs sub volume 
snapshot and then we're gonna basically direct what we're snapshotting so we're snapshotting the gentry folder that we just made in our root and then we're going to send it to mnt root snapshots and now we're gonna basically tell it how to name it so in our case we're gonna put the dollar sign and then we're gonna put parentheses we're gonna say uname dash arc that's gonna give us the kernel version and we're gonna put another dollar sign in parentheses and we're gonna make it the date so date space plus percentage y percentage lowercase m percentage lowercase d and then we're gonna put a t here to indicate time that doesn't actually write the time percent h for the hour percent m for the minute and then close off the parentheses and now we're gonna save this now before we run this we're gonna chmod it with plus x to make it executable and then we're gonna make the directory in our root called snapshot or snapshots and now if you run dot slash snapshot you'll see that it just created the snapshot so if we navigate to it you see we have the folder snapshots I'm going to snapshot there it is that's our an exact copy of our system you can pull out any files you could even boot off of this if you set the uh, sub wall in your kernel and your f's tab here to uh, the folders directory you can do basically whatever you want it's a perfect backup that's the basics of it hey guys i forgot to mention that btrfs links the metadata between your slash gen2 partition and any snapshot you make so as long as you don't edit the files you actually aren't really losing any space at all so it's actually a very very space efficient way of making snapshots and backups so yeah forgot to mention that thought it was important see ya